we had fun with it. I mean, that was the key, is that when things went really poorly or we had a really unproductive day, we always tried to just sort of look at the, the bright side of it, which was that we were really young and working for ourselves and, and doing something that was exciting. Thrillist is a men's lifestyle website and email and mobile app catering to guys where we're providing city guide type content, but in a voice that really resonates with guys. I grew up in Manhattan, I went to Dalton for high school in the Upper East Side and left there and went to Penn for college. And at Penn met my business partner, Adam, and he and I moved back to New York. I started working for Andre Bellage in sort of doing boutique hotel operations for a few years. We were sitting on my roof five years ago, hanging out, having a beer, you know, half complaining that we were unhappy with our jobs or felt sort of underutilized and a little bit lost. And the other half, Adam was getting ready to take a girl out to dinner. We were trying to find a place. Both sort of started talking about how frustrated we were with the city guides that we were reading. And we had also been talking about how we just wanted to go and do something else. And, and that sort of sparked it. We'd choose a neighborhood and say, okay, the West Village. Let's go and go to 15 or 20 places that we've never been to and never heard of. And we'd go out and we'd have a drink at each place or like a bite of food at each place or whatever it was and take notes. It's a thankless process for a really long time. So we said, okay, like whatever it was, Tuesday nights and Thursday nights. After work, we meet at my place at eight o'clock and we start coming up with ideas and seeing what we like and throwing stuff against the wall. First, Adam and I were both reading and helping to write every article before it went out the door and trafficking every ad that went onto it and selling every ad that went onto it and doing the books and interviewing and hiring and figuring out where we needed more help and building it. So, I mean, I've done so many jobs over the years. Now, I have, I like my job a lot more um, because it's not as tied to the day to day. We're about four and a half years in and 60 something people and feeling good slash working a lot, but it's fun. breaking a million subscriptions. We got the whole company all over, from all over the country on the phone and like did an announcement of it. And like, I felt the little, you know, a little welling up in like the side, like, yes, this is like a big one. Don't hope. It's don't wait for someone else to do the work for you or hope that you can do something half-assed and that it becomes like an overnight sensation. Like you really, we slogged through the mud for a long time. We still slog through the mud and you have to be willing to put the work in. I've started to invest. I raised a fund uh, with my dad um, where we're going and investing in sort of startups and new media and technology. My dream job is definitely still is a baseball player and I'm convinced that I could still do it if I was much better at baseball.